Hey guys, uh, just wanted to uh, show you what was going on with my uh, forest uh, IMO. Our, uh, the, uh, beneficial microbes. And what I did was I took some leaf litter that I had out in the uh, in the uh, forest, find something to put that into. The indigen the indigenous leaf litter. So what I'm looking for was what I was looking for was the mycelium, which is that white stuff that uh, grows around the bottoms of the roots and stuff and helps plants grow. So what I did was I put some rice in the bottom of this colander, cooked rice, and then I put this uh, the leaf, leaf mulch, I mean uh, leaf litter, on top of that and also down in the bottom here, I uh, put some humus that I uh, dug out from around a stump uh, out here in basically my yard, my backyard. So what has happened, as you can see, that mycelium is, uh, has grown and it's basically saturated all this earth here. And uh, pull some of this off. You can see what that looks like. And that's the stuff that we're looking for right there. And some more. Grew right through the bottom of this. Yeah, I'm peeling. You can hear it peeling off. It's just like, just like roots. That that's the stuff that I'm looking for. This is what plants use to get their uh, nutrition from out of the roots. Okay, so now, as I said, I put this leaf litter on top, which was pretty much decayed. A lot of it had been somewhat decayed. I'll get rid of that. And I put the uh, cooked rice, I used uh, I used the brown rice, cooked it all up, and I spread it out on this paper towel in the hopes that I would be able to capture some of those indigenous microorganisms which live pretty much only in my yard. So strange as that may sound. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you. I'll pull this I'll pull this paper towel out. Okay. There's still a little bit of fluffy in there. So there's the paper towel now. What I'll do is I'll show you what's going on underneath here. There's the rice. It's all covered with that mycelium. See that? Now this is the first time I've done this, so I I'm still, still trying to figure it out, and look at look at the mycelium. That's all, that's all that good stuff. It's all the good stuff. Now that paper towel, of course, is saturated with that. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that, whether or not I should just incorporate it 
into it. But look at this. It's like a impregnated impregnated mycelium in that. It's almost good enough to eat. Yeah, that's some good stuff. So, what I'm going to do, now that I've got this totally inoculated, look at, look at that. It's just, it's just saturated with a mycelium. It's just saturated. That, doesn't that look awesome? <laughs> <laughs> to me, it does. Uh, look at that. So, what I'm going to do is take some uh, brown sugar and uh, I'm going to uh, mix that brown sugar up with this and, and it'll uh, turn this into a paste basically just a paste and uh, it'll allow that uh, mycelium to uh, continue to grow and that's going to be ba the uh, basic mix for our what we call the, the IMO2 which is the indigenous microorganisms second phase and once I have it all mixed up with the uh, brown sugar then uh, we'll take that uh, we'll take that concoction of that mixture and uh, let it set for oh maybe a week or so now here's something interesting here see there's some reddish reddish colored fibrous stuff now I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to research that exactly what the red reddish is, but I believe it's good. Uh, what I would, didn't want to see would be black stuff all over this. So anyway, there we have it. So I'll uh, continue on mixing up some stuff, and then I'll show you again what we're doing. Well, I got some brown sugar adding to this. I added what uh, what I thought was equal equal parts of brown sugar to uh, what I had for the rice mixture. And uh, as I understand it, it's not all that critical, but I'll try to keep it within the parameters of what uh, it's recognized practice. Practice, but uh, yeah, that rice is like really coagulated together. Those are all the. all those little filaments from the uh, mycelium they're uh, uh, as the uh, as the brown sugar gets worked in and uh, basically it's starting to activate the initial process of the fermentation and what it will happen is this brown sugar will actually release alcohol of some some type that will cause the uh, 
cause this mixture to break down and ferment. As you can see, that's getting real gushy now. Real gushy. And that's pretty much what we're looking for. See how that gushes? So, I'll continue to work on this just a little bit. And, uh, and we'll, uh, come back and show you what else we're going to do. Get my glove off here. Yeah. 